What made her was fine. unique wow. was completeness wow. and oldness. 40% complete, 3.2 million of wow. years old. But the new find, Salam, is 60% complete, 3.3 million years old. Salam is over there. The knee joint for Lucy, concave shaped, showed she walked on two legs. As we do, it will be like this to carry uh, the weight of the body. So Lucy was like humans, but she was not human at all because of the big difference here. Brain size of Lucy, a very small, only one cell of the humans. This would be equivalent to an ape's brain size. So Lucy was like an ape man, you can say. Opening of hip bone, relatively larger, showed she was a female. She was very small, 3.5 feet tall, a meter and 10 centimeters. It would be only a six-year-old child today for this age. But Lucy died adult, fully grown. Teeth showed that the last two wisdom teeth are fully erupted, which you do so in adult age. So Lucy proved how our earliest ancestors were really very small. This is. The complete reconstruction of Lucy. This is her actual height. The dark color is the cast of the actual find. The rest is reconstruction. So walking on two legs gives her the human trait. But there are many ape traits for Lucy. A very small brain size, a relatively longer arm bone than the humans, and especially the curved finger bones of Lucy, which imply that she was still uh, clinging to the branches of the tree. So it shows both traits, ape, man. That's why she's placed here in the evolutionary tree. This is Lucy's place. She's in between apes and humans because share traits from both. Brain size of Lucy is equal to that of an ape, 300 to 500 cubic centimeters, but walked erect like the humans, the homo, who have three times more brain volume, 1,000 to 2,000 cubic centimeters. So that